Welcome to Smart Architectural Programming. Today, we're diving into an exciting topic, Blind75 Problem 3, 2 Integer Some Solution. Generally speaking, Blind75 are problems that are used, common problems that come up in your uh, coding interview exams uh, 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 when you're looking uh, for a big, uh, uh, big five uh, tech company related job, basically. And uh, the, the third problem is the first problem in which it, uh, things might get slightly tricky, trickier for you to solve. Generally speaking, up till this point, the problems that we have covered are related to arrays and hash maps and uh, potentially will be going down um, the same route of these problems. So uh, first we'll cover all the problems related to arrays and hash maps and then the other uh, thematic uh, uh, aspects or the different problems that we need to cover as well. With that, let's start focusing on this problem uh, uh, first. This uh, problem is called the two integer sum, basically. And it goes about the fact that you're given an arrays of uh, integers or numbers, and you're given an integer uh, which is a uh, which is called target. We need to return the indices of two numbers i and j, which are within the array of integers nums, such that that the sum of those two numbers i and j equal to the target integer given to us. Also, we need to remember that the uh, the digits i and j cannot be the same, basically, which means their indices cannot be the same. And th so we can't use the same number more than once. We can also assume, according to this problem, that every input has exactly one pair of ind indices i and j that satisfy the condition. So among the array, there are only one pair uh, that can satisfy the, uh, the, the target number itself, basically. And then we return the answer with the smaller index first and the larger index later. As you can see, uh, we have three examples that tell, uh, tell us exactly how this would work. If you can review these as well on the screen. Based on these three examples, we understand we have an array of number. Visually, we can see which two numbers combine to get a target seven. And based on the smaller index coming in the index coming index coming first, we put the, an array which has the two indexes that return the target. Um, their amount when summed together, basically, as you can see. And all of this starts, remember, all problems starts from the input and output statements in the examples that you're seeing here right now. So with that out of the way, we need to basically get some intuitive understanding of what we're doing here, right? So basically, uh, we have, let's presume we have these four numbers right here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So and our target number is two uh, potentially let's say our target number here is two we need to find an um, uh, we need to find uh, an uh, a combination of these two numbers i mean this is not going to be exact based on the fact that there's just a ran random image that from the internet but based on the fact that we can need we, there's only one pair of um, uh, pair of uh, integers that can satisfy this problem we need to find those two and basically uh, get the answer so the, basically the most easiest way to do that and the most concise and optimized way of doing that is to first create a hash map, which is a dictionary in Python. So we create a dictionary in Python and once a dictionary is created, we need to add numbers to check with the dictionary whether that number uh, when added uh, together uh, should result in that particular target amount. So if you want to be more clear about that, let's say the target number is uh, target number given a mathematical definition and my you know uh, my writing might not that be might not be that clear i'm not really good at uh, you know uh, writing it out on a computer so the target number is basically um, uh, minus i'd rather i think read that so the target number minus the index number that we're looking at right now, which is I or J, right? Let's just say I should equal to J, right? That's the formula you need to keep in mind. So we have a target number given to us, right? Once we have that target number, how can we programmatically go through that array to get the, uh, get the, uh, to get a number which complements with that number to immediately say, hey, these two numbers when combined together 
are the answer. And the reason we're able to so easily presume that because only one pair can satisfy the target number basically. So first, what we are doing here is we're, uh, we're going over each number here. Let's say one first. We check if this number, my, uh, if we remove this number zero here from the target number, right? Uh, after that, which number, uh, the number that's left is J, right? So the difference between this and the, the number that we're checking, uh, which is zero here, and the target number, which is let's say one, Le yeah, uh, uh, let's say two, right? Uh, or rather than that, let's say it's three. The target number is three here, right? So that way we can satisfy the requirements that I, uh, we were talking about. So zero, uh, three minus zero equals to equals to three. So we need a number uh, three for this condition to be satisfied, right? But our dictionary or our hash map at this point is empty. It's just an empty. Uh, uh, it should be an empty, uh, uh, empty uh, hash map right now. So we have nothing to compare this value. There's no value in the hash map when compared to uh, to this uh, this value three that we can find and immediately say, hey. This number in this index uh, is uh, had satisfies the requirement when we add that to the current index, which is zero, to get us the answer three, which is the target number. So again, we move to the next thing, next portion. We go to the next portion, and you'll find that uh, we have the number one. So three minus one should equal to two, right? And keep in mind when we move from zero to one. We added the index index of zero uh, in the hash map or dictionary with the value zero as well. So we are adding these numbers as we're moving forward to the dictionary itself. So we can do that comparison. So we have the value two. Do we have two in the dictionary? No, we don't have that value right now. So we move on to two. We check two in our calculation. Three minus two equals one. So now we look up Hey, We need to find a number one in our hash map aware because once we have number one, when added to two, it should equal to three, which is the target number. So we look at our uh, dictionary. We found yeah, one is there. One is in the dictionary. So we have that values. And since we have these values, we can immediately return true and send the index values of these over. And as the index value of one is already stored before two, we can, we print that out first, which is zero, uh, which is one, and uh, the uh, index value of two is uh, two. So we do one and two. Those are the our two index values. Basically, the logic behind this uh, particular problem runs like this, right? In the, this is to help you get develop an intuitive feature.